All right, folks. Still, nothing substantial to talk about on the main servers. But let's finish up with a third and final premium tier eight on the Russian super test, the TST, premium tier eight Czech heavy tank. It is more like a medium tank heavy tank hybrid with a very good space armor turret front, as well as slope upper plate. Also, it kind of reminds me of the 112 with space armor on the sides in a V-shaped design. So pretty interesting, but this thing has a gun depression about eight degrees with no cupola weak spots. So hull down wise, that's pretty good, especially slope upper plate. But the main feature of this vehicle is the 105 with the best DPM out of heavy tanks at tier eight, even better than a Carnarvon. Has about 2,900 DPM. It's pretty crazy, but alpha damage as well as accuracy is not that great. So it fires a lot of shells in a very short amount of time, but doesn't do that much damage per shot. Does add up pretty quickly though. <laughs> so not a bad looking vehicle. Obviously no weak spots, no tumor on the turret. Space armor package that's more convenient looking than a T TNH 105-1000. That thing is like a samurai armored IS tank at tier 8. The normal tier 8 Czech heavy tank. So, yeah. Following the trend that premium tanks are still better <laughs> than normal tech tree tanks. Does it compete with the Skoda T56? That thing has a 130 double shot. <laughs> or autoloader double shot. But this thing has a rapid firing 105. So more like a medium tank. A hell of a lot better version than a 56 TP, right? <laughs> that thing has no DPM. 1000 less DPM than this thing, holy crap. <laughs> so rear end kind of reminds me of a IS-8 or T-10 heavy tank. So Russian-esque, but space armor on the sides. That's a snorkel, I believe. Yeah, that's a snorkel. So not a bad looking vehicle, but yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, originally, like with the Chinese server, they were separate, ran by a different company, but we still got the import of the Type 59 Gold, as well as the Beijing Opera 113, and the Qiling 5A, so we'll see vehicles likely, maybe, from the other spin-off World of Tanks, not really called spin-offs, it's still World of Tanks, just different companies, well, we'll have to see, but yeah, not a bad vehicle, I mean, Still competitive, very competitive. I mean, especially with the close range fighting and a butt ton of DPM. Yeah, this thing is pretty good. All right, let's take a look at the main stats. So firepower wise, 2,888 DPM. <laughs> it's a 105. The alpha damage is not that great, but fires a lot of shots. So that adds up, but accuracy 0.43 with a 100% crew. It kind of reminds me of the original D25T, the 122 Russian heavy tank gun, but that thing packs a punch. This really doesn't. <laughs> reminds me of the basic 105 on the T29, but that's at tier 7. Aim time is good, 8 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation. Traverse, medium heavy tank or heavy medium tank. Yeah, not that bad, but penetration is still good enough. 224 it's 1500 health only 80 at the whole front it is well sloped but that should be about 200 millimeter effective should be based on effective armor calculation so about 80 that's about 25 degrees 30 now let's give it 30 160 millimeters effective what's well, 25 give it a little bit better sloping uh, 190 or so, so close to being average for a tier A heavy. Uh, yeah, tier A heavy tank is usually about 170, 190 ish. It's okay, but side armor is 75, likely with side skirts and space armor right here. The strip, so not half bad. But turret front is 210 with a bunch of space armor and no cupola weak spot. So obviously go haul down with eight degrees of gun depression. Weighs about 54 tons. Horsepower per ton ratio is also not half bad, 16.5. Top speed of 50. 
Now, depending on terrain resistance, it might be pretty good at ramming, but it might be the same as the TNH 105-1000. This thing looks good on paper with the horsepower per ton ratio and the top speed, but effectively doesn't really go that fast because of terrain resistance. Yeah, terrain resistance is kind of bad. Yeah, so we'll have to see, or the Russians have to see, but camo-wise, uh, heavy medium tank or medium heavy tank uh, you know, as you would expect view range below average 370 but still workable radio standard uh, has all the crew members too so nothing missing out that's fine it's a medium tank that's very good <laughs> at killing other medium tanks I mean if it's fast enough it can reach key choke points or key positions and contest other medium tanks but with a lot of DPM you don't need the accuracy at close range right but you have the gun depression as well as turret armor shell velocity is sub average sub optimal so could have to lead your shot a little bit but gold shell is also not that great only 250 so basic it's not like 270 or 200 90, 300 or so, basic. High explosive does get better alpha, but only 53 millimeters of pin. Yeah, you'll carry like five rounds of high explosive, maybe less. It's a premium tank. It's a lot of DPM. <laughs> a hell of a lot of DPM. To compare it with the AMX M4, likely because of the alpha, but this thing is a different category. I mean, better traverse, not as good gun depression, but faster to aim, not as accurate. <laughs> Definitely not as accurate. 1,000 more DPM than the 1949 AMX M4. Oh, same health, but armor is obviously weaker on the hull. I think it's better on the turret, even though uh, on paper it's only 210. It has space armor and no cupola weak spots. 54 tons compared to 70, better horsepower per ton ratio, better top speed, same traverse for the hull, better camo, less view range by 20. It's a very good medium tank, to say the least, but what is the threshold of how much accuracy would you give up for that DPM, right? So what if you have like 0.7 accuracy, but 2,000 2, more DPM or so, like 4,000 DPM but you have 0 0.7 accuracy or 0 0.5 would you trade would you make that trade obviously you will want rammer to make this thing go even crazier with the dpm but maybe improve aiming as well uh, still make me think that the normal tier 8 tech tree tank is kind of obsolete <laughs> this thing kind of sucks i mean it's okay but it's nothing special i mean the Two round autoloader doesn't feel that good, so this thing could obviously put a rammer. I would recommend vertical stabilizer since this thing has garbage dispersion factors while moving and traversing. <laughs> so, yeah, vertical stabilizer, rammer, maybe improve aiming over turbocharger. Yeah, turbocharger will help, but the accuracy on this vehicle is kind of suck. 0 0.43, so that is the only downside to the gun. The upside is it's quick to aim, has the gun depression and the DPM, but maybe improve aiming, maybe vents as well. All right, yeah, this thing has basic written all over it. <laughs> it's a samurai IS tank at tier eight. I mean, it's granted it's a little bit faster, but it's IS with a big tumor on top. Yeah, that's this is an IS practically. <laughs> Samurai armor IS so fuel modification wise versatile heavy tank. It's the same as with breakthrough at tier 8 There's no difference, but better terrain resistance or better suspension durability better terrain resistance you go faster practically Accuracy or aim time this thing is obviously accuracy definitely accuracy so ugh, Accuracy sucks ass <laughs> and finally view range or stun duration you're moving pretty quick so view range most of the time and sometimes you don't even fight artillery or you're behind cover so 
I see better view range, but God, how much would you trade in terms of accuracy for DPM? That is a big question. You are bordering into garbage levels like 0 0.5, 0 0.45. Those are kind of bad, but at least aim time is quick. So that's a plus. But how much will you trade for that DPM? <laughs> As a very scary DPM. That is the best out of tier 8s. Um, no. The turtle has better DPM as well as the ISU-130. But yeah, for a heavy tank, that's the best DPM. Oh, oh that's Mirity. <laughs> Raw Mateo Borsig. That doesn't count. It doesn't have 3000 DPM with a 150. That's insane. No, it's... it's that's not that's not it. Alright, that's a uh, special mode, Romantel Borsig. Turtle has the best DPM. As well as the uh, Well it has better DPM than the ISU 130. Holy crap. Yeah, pretty scary DPM. So especially for a heavy tank at tier 8. Oh these don't count. These are all mirrorly stuff. Carnarvon is 2580. Okay, so better by the Carnarvon by 300, but it's faster than Carnarvon. Hull armor is debatable, but turret armor is also debatable. Huh. Interesting. Well, hull armor might be not as good as a Carnarvon. Yeah. Carnarvon Action X has less DPM than a 32 pounder Carnarvon. Interesting. Well, folks, how much would I rate this thing? Ah, crap. Compared to this thing, this thing is a piece of. <laughs> This thing has no flavor to it whatsoever. I hate the freaking autoloader on this vehicle. You cannot even put a rammer because it could fit an autoloader. The autoloader has, let's see, five about 500 less DPM. Even though the premium tank has no DPM deficit. Even with a larger caliber gun. It's a 130 compared to a 105. So, discrepancy, right? Bias towards premium tanks, but that's why I use the single shot. I yeah, I prefer the single shot with better DPM, even though it's about the same as a double shot, uh, as an autoloader. But this thing has a lot, a hell of a lot of DPM. So it's a whole different play style than what you expect out of a Czech heavy tank. But it's more like a medium tank. It is pretty, pretty decent. I mean, slope upper plate with side skirts as well as her front and no cupola weak spots rapid firing gun only downside is the accuracy maybe the hull armor but i doubt it maybe the view range a little bit but if it's close range if it's a freaking medium tank then yeah all you, you don't really need that accuracy honestly speaking all you need to do is spam all the gold shell the gold shell could be better like 270 or 290, 300 or so millimeters of penetration, but at least a 6, maybe a 6.5. I'm just scared about the DPM. <laughs> it's like with the titty. If you let the titty go unchecked, it has a lot of DPM, even though the alpha is not that great. It's going to chew through some of the weaker armor targets and leave you stranded. So even though you have armor, your teammates may not. So. They'll be killed, and you'll be gangbanged by a bunch of titties <laughs> with a hell of a lot of DPM. So, yeah, don't be overzealous that the accuracy is not that great. It's not that bad if you are at close range, wolf packing with a bunch of DPM. So, I will still say maybe 6.5 out of 10. Well, there you go, folks. The TST, only for the Russian server, but like with the Chilling or the Golden Type 59, might come to the other servers, or even like the... The TL7 originally released on the Asian server and took them about a year for it to reach the other servers. So we could see it, we could not, but yeah, they're doing weird stuff with the different boxes or autumn box, whatever the hell they're calling it. So they're releasing different vehicles at different times, sometimes with the Yak Tiger prototype or the TL7 or whatever. So we'll have to see. But as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.